All right, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for our absolutely beautiful 2017 BMW 320i. Uh, this is the M Sport model. It's also the, the facelift, so it features the, the newer style LED lights at the front uh, and at the rear, and just a couple of uh, very small uh, facelift items on the inside as well, just things like um, slightly new, newer switch gear and um, iDrive controllers and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, the car is in absolutely fantastic condition, uh, as it should be. It's only done 15,500 miles um, from new. It's, um, uh, it's been BMW serviced all the way through. Under the bonnet is a 2-litre turbo petrol engine. Um, absolutely lovely to drive, really lovely and smooth. Obviously fully ULES compliant. Um, as well being a, being a petrol um, and also a Euro 6 uh, being after 2016 as well. Um, the condition, as I said, is absolutely lovely. Uh, we've got the, obviously the M Sport body styling, so you have um, the, the, the slightly deeper front bumpers and everything like that as well. Um, there's barely a mark on the, um, the bodywork to show you at all. Um, it's uh, absolutely wonderful all the way around, all the mirror housing and caps and everything like that are all in fantastic condition. A couple of the alloy wheels have some very, very small chip marks just on the outside, but certainly nothing excessive at all. Um, certainly no dents or, uh, or marks or anything like that all the way around it. Rear bumper, all absolutely perfect. Part of the facelift now as well, as I mentioned, you get the newer style rear lights um, and also the twin exhausts for the, um, the four-cylinder models. As you'll see, all the way down the passenger side. Again, absolutely lovely condition all the way around. And again, just look at the front wheel there, just a couple of chips just on the outside. We're looking down the side of the car, you can see it's all in really lovely condition. Uh, front bumper, uh, totally uh, lacking any sort of stone chips or anything like that. Again, the low mileage and the fact that the car's been extremely well cared for. Uh, it's been fully serviced by BMW all the way through. Um, on the outside, we've got uh, privacy glass at the rear, as well as all of the um, the uh, gloss black uh, sort of side styling and everything like that as well. Through to the back, the boot is absolutely immaculate, barely been used. You've got additional storage underneath here, and then your toolkit with locking wheel nuts and everything like that underneath that section there. But yeah, really, really nicely kept. Through to the back, looks like the back seats have barely ever been sat on. Fantastic condition, this is the black Dakota leather. No kick marks or anything like that to the backs of the seats. As you can see, all really, really lovely. You've got the piano black finisher across the top of the door there that you can see. That goes all the way around to the front of the dash as well. It's very well equipped, this car. Um, we've got some, um, some very nice options um, that uh, real must-haves. So you've got the power folding door mirrors on there. We've got the three-spoke multifunction steering wheel. It's a really nice chunky uh, M Sport steering wheel with the paddle shift as well. And then on this side, you've got controls for your cruise control. And then on the right, all of your media settings and everything like that as well. Full black leather sport seats in the front. Again, being such low mileage, you can see they're all in lovely condition previous owner was a non-smoker. Automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers, and then you've got your iDrive controller down here as well um, for the satellite navigation. Up on the dashboard you'll see the mileage today at 15,409. And then coming across here, so the steering wheel all in really lovely condition, hasn't gone all nasty and shiny or anything like that at all. Over on the main screen, DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM stations. And then we also have Bluetooth uh, media streaming um, as well as USB connections and auxiliary in sockets as well, which can be found down here in the front center armrest. Again, all absolutely immaculate down here. Really, really lovely. Different driving modes. Come up on this on the uh, on the screen here. So you've got your sport and sport plus modes, as well as comfort, and then Eco Pro as well. Satellite navigation for the whole of Western Europe, and then also like a full control panel for the car as well. So you can come in here and make a number of um, different changes to the the setup and and uh, the way that everything appears uh, and operates as well. If we just come through to the servicing section. 
Uh, you'll see on here you've got things like tyre pressure monitoring, so when, once you've um, driven about half a mile or something like that, it'll actually display the, uh, the actual um, tyre pressures on there for you. And then if we come up here, we get the full BMW service history. You can see this uh, code here just denotes which centre it's been at. So it's been um, at Barons of Hindhead um, every single time, um, all the way through. Last service at 13,372. And then that's the uh, MOT reminder, which the car will have a new one. Engine oil service, just trying to get focus, um, is not due until March 2023, or uh, 18,000 miles, whichever one comes soonest. Brake fluid service in January 2024. Vehicle check in March 2025, or 38,000 miles. Sorry, it's really struggling to... Uh... <laughs> to focus on the um, front brake pads 30,000 miles and the rear brake pads I think have been recently done yeah 33,000 miles for the rear brake pads so uh, absolutely nothing for the new owner to do anytime soon as I said it will come with a new MOT as well um, so that's all the bits and pieces for the iDrive down here you've got your sort of hotkey buttons so you can um, uh, you can press a button and it would take you to, to different areas of the um, of the iDrive system um, or, or it could actually be things like um, radio stations and things like that as well um, we've got uh, dual zone climate control so separate temperatures for driver and passenger uh, and then we also have three stage heated seats for driver and passenger passenger as well um, so all, all the sort of comfort options that you could potentially want decent sized glove box all your books and manuals and everything like that and just having a quick look through the interior again you can see there's no nasty chip marks or anything like that at all everything is completely unmarked and pretty much as new inside really really fabulous condition I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if we can help with any further information, if you require any finance figures or you have a part exchange to value, then please do let us know through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. We'd be more than happy to help, uh, and ultimately we'd love to show you the car in person and take you out for a test drive. Thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.